Hey guys, welcome to Protocoders Point. Okay, so in our previous video tutorial, we have done with the recycler view and showing the total expenses of an employee. So as you can see, if an employee enters some data or the expenses he have made over here, the total of these expenses will be shown in the total expenses text box. Okay, and uh, this data is stored in a form of array. So as you can see, this is an array where rate is being stored and at the same position even there is one more array uh, to store the expense name okay so in this video tutorial what we will do is uh, we will send this data to our database PHP MyAdmin database okay so let's begin so before starting with the Android code uh, let's check the database and the PHP code so okay so here is my PHP code that is hosted in my server uh, protocoldspoint.com server so here I have created a table by name expense table and it has four columns that is ID expense name where name of an expense will be stored and amount where amount will be stored the expense you have done okay so this is our database I have created and uh, we have a PHP code that helps us to connect to our database so this is our connect connection code uh, that will help us to connect to our uh, database and uh, there is one more uh, PHP code that will uh, insert the data in our database so I will explain about this code afterwards at the end of this video tutorial so let's go into our uh, Android part so it will be very easy to understand this code okay so let's begin with the Android coding part okay so as we know that we are making internet calls to send this data to our database so for that in your android app uh, you must configure which uh, internet connection or which ip address you are been using so for that in your resource folder create a directory by name xml and in this xml create a new xml file resource file uh, you can name it as network config config okay okay so here i will just copy paste my code okay so this is my code here uh, i am just stating uh, which network or which ip address or domain i am been using so here in my case it is protocoldspoint.com where my database and php code are there so you just need to add this uh, you can change it with your own IP address okay so after creating this uh, just go to in, uh, Android manifest so in your Android manifest first of all you need to add a permission that you are making use of internet okay and then in application tag here you need to state the file that we have created Android network configuration and the path of the file that is android xml network configuration and here uses clear text traffic and make it to true okay so network configuration has been done okay and now uh, so to send this data uh, i'm making use of one library that is volley so just add this library in your project dependency and just synchronize it okay so we are done with the major work so now we will just work on sending the data so come back to this uh, adapter so here we have all the data so as you can see this is the data we have so in our case we have some data that we don't need that is zero we don't need in my our case so we need to remove this from this array so for that uh, we will do it now 
okay so here uh, here we have a button that is save button so when this button is been pressed uh, we will remove uh, the the unwanted data that is zero from our array and send the updated means the amount to our database okay so on this button press we will do it so here in on bind at the bottom at the end here save expense dot set on click new on click new listener okay so here uh, what we will do is we will remove this zeros from the list okay so i will just fast forward the coding part okay so our app is ready means it will remove the zero and null policies uh, from our array okay and create a new array over here as you can see so this is our new array that we need to send to our database okay so as i enter something over here okay so coffee I have entered as 15 and dinner 48 so when I press save button so as you can see so coffee the, this is the first array coffee is of 15 and dinner is of 48 so our previous array was this means it has the unwanted data so it got removed and saved it into new array so now we need to just send this uh, list of array to our database okay so now our array is ready by removing the unwanted data so now i need to convert this array into a json string okay so for that uh, what i will do is i will make use of json array object json array name is equal to new json array okay so in this json array i need to uh, store the name expense name so for that i will make use of for loop string expense name you need to iterate to all the loop of this array so here in this here in this for loop here json array dot add no json array dot put the expense name okay so now our list of array name means expense name in json format is ready so the same thing we need to do with the expense amount so we'll just copy paste it and change the name here expense amount name it as expense amount expense amount here you need to iterate to expense amount in expense name we need to put it into this json rf okay so now our name is ready and amount json format is ready okay so now we need to send this board the string to a function so here uh, create a method uh, that will submit the data submit expense data 
okay so in this method pass our two variables that is expense name and expense amount so just pass this dot to string and json expense amount dot to string and create this method over here private void submit expense first parameter is string that is expense name and second is also a string that is expense amount okay so in this uh, method uh, we need to use a uh, volley library okay so as you can see this is the library that we need to use in this uh, method so i will just copy paste this code uh, because if i keep typing the video will be very long so i will just copy paste the code okay so this is the code here we have a string request uh, that accept uh, two parameters that is post method so as we are making use of post method so this is the method and the uh, the url the url of our php code okay so that we need to create so here uh, we need we are passing two parameters to our database one is expense name so it is n capital okay so n expense name and expense amount okay so now we will just create this uh, string the url of our uh, php code so here somewhere over here we can create string expense summary expense url is equal to the url so for my url i need to go to my website protocolers point dot php my admin dot expense so just paste it over here so this code will give me output something like this okay so it will not give me i can't show you the output over here because i need to pass the parameters okay okay so now we'll run the app for testing okay so now our app is running and our database is now currently empty okay as you can see so i will just enter some data coffee i will enter as 15 lunch 200 i will enter okay so here you can see 15 200 has been added to our array so i will just submit it by clicking on save button where is my mobile yes here it is okay save button okay so this data has been stored in our database i think so i will just refresh it okay so as you can see our copy was 15 copy was 15 and lunch was 200 it gets stored in our database okay so now uh, we will check out the php code so here is my php code uh, so here as we are making use of post method so this is the expense name okay so this is the post method so the parameter name is expense the list of json format will come to this uh, variable and after uh, that we are converting it back to by making use of json decoder okay and storing storing it into a same the, the same variable ok 
okay like this uh, the same thing we are doing with the amount okay so in in this after that uh, we are making use of for statement to iterate with our uh, data so here uh, what we are doing is we are making iteration by making use of id and this is the sql uh, statement insert into expense table expense name expense amount the value will come from uh, array index of position 0 so position 0 in our case it was uh, coffee expense name coffee position 1 position means position 0 and amount was 15 so it get uh, inserted in our database by making use of this command okay so this for loop will uh, keep repeating until the end of this count means as you can see i have entered two datas so it will this loop will run for two times okay so if i enter something over here okay so if i save it now so it will run for three times means this data will also go to our database okay so when i press this three will go and the previous two will be there in our database because we are not updating we are just inserting okay so as you can see coffee lunch and transportation cost and got added okay so this is the work of our php code so uh, the connection page means i have uh, added it over here because uh, this is the common thing uh, uh, means if i write in one php code and just include it in any or more than other um, other php codes of the same database so it will work and there is no need to write every time this command or the statement okay so that's all for this video tutorial i uh, hope you got the concept of how to send a array format data to our database so thanks for watching please do subscribe protocol as point